Now, the rest of the story. I know everybody likes to hear the 4020 run. But as always, she's being a big contributor to the operation. I was planning on using the 7600 to transfer this corn. Largely just because it was so stinking wet down through here. This is just a mud pit. But the ground was frozen just enough this morning that it allowed me to get the 4020 up here. Because the 76 is sitting over there running. This it's probably going to be a pretty busy day if I can get everything to pan out the way I'm, I got it worked out in my head. You know, it's kind of scary, all the thoughts in my head, but... Uh, Ryan has two truckloads to take down to the elevator. He's on load one right now. Then we have an appointment at 10 o'clock. So once they leave, we're going to go back out to my brother's place. Uh, get the cars loaded onto the semi and get him gone. I'm planning on taking the combine out and at least Ryan and I are going to keep things, keep Harvest or Mudfest 2019 moving and at least try to get some progress made. It is November 6th right now and any progress is good progress it just for how this year has worked, worked for us. So I'm trying to do, uh, this is kind of like a busy work job because honestly it's a job that needs to be done, but it burns up a bunch of time. I really don't want to go too far from it because, hey buddy, there's a shear bolt on the power takeoff that over time, it just tends to shear randomly. I have that thing torqued down as hard as I can possibly get it. And it's actually fairly new. We've only ran this thing, what, two days since I've changed that bolt out. But last year was our first real season with this auger, and I think we broke two last year just from regular running. I don't like to run this auger empty, and I'm actually running it as full as I really can because I got the sous bin is actually wide open right now and dumping into the wagon, and I got the wagon regulated. And that's the big thing, you got to regulate it just right so everything runs continuously. Man, I'd take you up and show you in the, the souk up, but there's a reason why I'm standing over here is because the wind is in my favor. It's a pretty good dust, dust storm going on the, on the far side right now. But what I'm hoping to do, a dreaded four letter word, I'm going to run this for a while try to get as much moved as I can and then once Ryan gets back and we get the carts emptied I'm gonna shut this down leave it sit run out to Ryan's place combine as long as we really can until the elevator quits taken or we get that farm done or we get the cart full or whatever else but Brittany only works till three or four o'clock today we need corn stalks cut and processed so I can bale them so I'm actually thinking about getting a hold of Brittany and having her come up. And I'm gonna get that 76 hooked up to that Rhino 4155. Get the tractor fueled up and out there for her. So all she's gotta do is just drive out, jump in it. And I got a 10 acre field. It's all solid one piece. You guys saw it in the video the other night. But the last video I did, I'm pretty sure. And um, that's about 10, 12 acres have her go and grind that up for us and that'll be enough for now or for that farm get all those bailed up even though they're going to be tough but it's almost going to be more like a freeze a freeze thing where yeah they're probably going to heat which i really don't like that but making beautiful corn fodder just this isn't in the cards right now i'll take what i can get so this easy trail uh, if I can do this, I don't have it lined up perfect. The reason I got it thrown towards the back of the wagon is because if for any reason I don't have it regulated right, I don't want that dump auger 
or the truck unloading auger, uh, to dump it right in front of the door if that door gets empty because the corn will hit right in front of that door opening and then it just splatters on the outside and it just makes a mess. So all as you can see, all the dust and the fines and stuff collect. I'm planning on getting the fan on that bin running after I get about three, 4,000 bushels into it. And then that'll actually help alleviate some of the dirt and the dust and the fines. But the amount of fines we got right there, I actually largely contribute, dare I say it, to our corn head because we have those belts on and with those uh, those fingered uh, corn head belt well, I can't even think of the name of that right now I don't know with our corn head uh, the problem is those brushes catch a lot of the leaves and the corn tops and all that stuff and it pulls a lot more trash, or I guess now the more accepted term is residue into the machine, and it's just that much more for the combine to have to try to sort out. So the more you can keep out of the combine altogether, the better, but uh, I don't know, it's just part of the, the pros and cons of running those belts in the head. You lose less corn, you get, you get a lot less butt shelling. But then you're also pulling more residue into the machine, so you got to find that happy medium. So, all right, this is about as, and there really isn't a whole lot here to show you guys. I just started about 10 minutes before I started this video, and I don't know how long this is actually going to take. I don't remember. I wanted to say it was only four hours last year, but Ryan and Dad say it took all day, so. If we can combine until later, if I can get Brittany to cut corn stalks for me, I may come back tonight and run out a bunch more yet tonight. Because the current plan, you know, one of them four letter words, is to get this transferred over. The elevator is taking corn for the next few days. Today is Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'd highly doubt they're open Sunday. I mean, stranger things have happened. Um, but the plan is to deliver on our contracts until probably Sunday if the elevator isn't taking grain. We got this bin will be emptied out that we'll be able to go back, come back on Saturday, Sunday, whatever, whenever we can't deliver to the elevator and work on getting this filled back up because the plan the intentions are to get both these bins stuffed as full as we possibly can and carry it over till next year. It gives me that much more time to market it. And basis right now is actually the best I've seen it for the fall in recent memory or at all as far as that goes. Um, I locked in a bunch of our contracts for a 20, 25 cent under basis. I thought that was really good. Last year I think it was 36, everything that I sold and then it dropped to 22 and then the last night or the night before it dropped down to 20. so it's going to be a pretty stiff kick to the pants if all of my contracts i locked in for 10 cents or eight 10 cents more than delivered but cash price right now is still 70 cents less than than what i got it contracted for oh well all right, I'm going to keep going, and I'll see if I'll either add on to this video. Otherwise, this might just be a standalone video. And November is looking to be a very incredibly busy month. Just for reference, you guys are curious what's all going on. We have zero tillage done. We only have, and honestly, you can call that a field, but we only have really one field done as far as corn goes or corn harvest or bean harvest that's, that's done. I got to do tillage over there, of course. Um, but as far as everything else, we got all of our farms to a certain degree, all of our home farms have something done off of them, but nothing's completely done yet. That's my goal tonight is at least try to get the place Ryan lives on done and try to get some more uh, completion progress made here. So unless I add on to this, which I don't know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. 
Take care, take it easy, keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys later.